My name is Yara Terao. I'm 38 years old. I'm a medical student at IHS. Currently enrolled in Block 4, living in um, Atlanta, Georgia. When I found about IHS, my whole life changed. Um, I got accepted twice before in um, other med schools, and I couldn't go because of uh, family issues. There was no way to leave my family for four years um, without income or not to support them and go join a med school. Uh, when I found about IHS and the idea that I can keep working and still study medicine, it was like a dream coming true. Well, of course it's not easy. Studying medicine by itself is um, a full-time job and having another full-time job beside it would seem to some people impossible. Uh, but it's not true. Um, it's only possible if you think it is impossible. Uh, but I told myself when I got accepted at IUHS, if other people um, could do it, I would do it as well. I believe if you want something bad enough, you will find a way to do it. I wake up usually around 6 a.m. I work from 8 to 5. Uh, my job as an engineer has a lot of stress. Um, I guess every job has its own stress. But as soon as the clock hits 5, I switch my mindset as a medical student. That all, that's all what I think about, my classes, my studies. Um, and I believe sometimes the stress that I get at work is a great motivation to make me study more and do what I love, uh, which is being a physician. I don't see a difference when it comes to the lecture itself. Um, we interact the same as the old classic classroom. Uh, we can talk to our professors, type to them. Um, we see them on the camera all the time, and um, they can see you too if you're not camera shy. Um, they use slides sometimes, videos, um, and of course whiteboard. Uh, the school also provides us uh, with online um, study rooms. We meet there and study together. It's exactly as the actual class, except we meet there without our uh, professors and we share study materials. Um, we see each other on camera, we use whiteboard, and um, we can even upload and share our own materials. I try my best to attend all of them live because I feel it's very useful to interact with the professors and ask questions if I need. Um, especially, uh, we have a mobile app to attend classes so you can attend a lecture over your phone or tablet. Uh, but sometimes due to work I can't attend and I go back and watch them record it. Uh, even the lectures I attend uh, live, I sometimes go back and watch them again for studying purpose. Um, yes, um, each one of us has a mentor who's an associate professor and licensed physician that we have to uh, spend at least 20 hours a month uh, with them uh, for practical training. I've uh, been exposed to clinical cases with my mentor since block one. I uh, have to log every case I see and analyze it. Uh, this counts in uh, my blog rate. Uh, also, we have DFR, which is um, cases given to us by school to um, diagnose and analyze uh, that's also graded. Um, so I think it's a very good idea that we've been exposed to clinical live even before getting into the clinical rounds. Um, that's a huge advantage uh, and by the time we get to the clinical rounds where uh, you'll have a good experience in dealing with patients. Of course, uh, I think I have a good chance to get a very good score in uh, USMLE board exam and match with the residency I want. Um, our quizzes and block exams are similar to the board exam. Uh, most of our professors train us for uh, USMLE questions. The exit exam for the preclinical at IUHS is as hard as the USMLE board exam. Um, in the clinical years, we get the rounds in the US hospitals. So I think if I keep working hard and um, get a good score, I have a good chance to match whatever residency I choose. I think studying medicine is tough, regardless where or how um, you're studying it. Uh, it requires a lot of time and effort. There's no success that comes easy. Uh, if we stop making excuses and work hard enough, uh, we will make it through med school and be great 